At Stanton Bonner we continue to look for improvements uh, towards offloading and installation of pipes. Um, this means going out on site, meeting the customers, asking and, and talking, to, uh, talking to them what they want, asking what they want. One of the major issues that came up was actually jointing of pipes, uh, large to intermediate sizes where they use quite hefty pieces of timber to, to, uh, to put between the excavator bucket and the pipe to save the pipe getting damaged. Uh, this means that people's got to stand in the trench, hold these pieces of wood, manhandle these pieces of wood in and out the trench. Uh, very often they're pushed in the middle of the wood, uh, which means the wood could snap uh, and cause some very nasty injuries. Also there's a lot of manual angling issues with using big heavy pieces of timber. Um, I've had it in the back of my mind for a few years about the pipe pusher, but it, it really come to the forefront of my mind when I was passed a piece of paper which was a health and safety executive publication where somebody had a, had a nasty accident um, using traditional methods. Came with a solution for the pipe pusher because it, it was excavator attached which means it can be remotely controlled, um, you don't need anybody in the trench. It's, uh, it's a variable size so it can, it can cope with sizes of pipe from 750 to uh, 1400, that's been extended out to uh, 1800 quite, quite shortly with a new bit of kit that we've got. The pipe pusher completely eliminates any risk that's uh, involved in the, the jointing operation. Um, it has a few other benefits which means that it doesn't damage the products it's, it's jointing against um, and it's quicker and easy for the guys so it's a winner all round.